picking some yarrow here. I'm gonna make some salve for my hands, feet, and my dog's feet. Dog's feet get in the cold conditions that we run them in, they get kind of dry, and this helps keep them supple and soft. It's very important to be knowledgeable about the things that grow in my area here because medicine's expensive. This is proactive healthcare. Right, I got some wormwood that I picked the other day. It's gonna be my salve pot. This is what I'm gonna fill up. And I'll set this inside with boiling water in this. It's pretty essential whenever you do what I do out in the winter to be able to start a fire with the simplest of means. This yarrow has a lot of medicinal properties. It's an antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial. Heading back to the fire, see how that's doing. The water's starting to get hot, not too overly hot. I want to fit a fair amount of oil in there, so I end up with a, quite a bit of good product. I'm gonna have a nice product here, good medicine. I can use it on my dog's feet. I can use it on these bee stings that I got. Before I jar it, what I'll do is I'll add beeswax. And beeswax is what gives you the consistency for your salve. Otherwise, it would just be an oil, not a salve. Sometimes when I'm running a fishnet, my hands get all sore and all cracking. And you know, in the winter, I'm dealing with stuff outside. I mean, I gotta have stuff like this. Beautiful. Now I got myself good case of salve started for the winter for the dogs, but right now, you know, my hands are beat up and I got these stings and I'm gonna try some out myself. It feels great after a hard day's work.